We are a group of teenagers from Hull and we've written a policy for our city schools to help tackle racism. This film is based on true stories that we have experienced ourselves. We begin with a little girl called Ella. Ella likes ice cream. She loves her nan and playing on her dad's phone. Her dad is friendly and likes people. Ella doesn't know much about the world, but is learning about it every day. Sat on a table in class is a boy called Ben. Ben likes ice cream. He loves his nan and playing on his dad's phone. His dad is friendly to some people, but doesn't like black people or anyone of colour. He never has. Neither did his dad or anyone else in his family. So Ben doesn't like black people either. Ben says to Ella, black, and then gives a thumbs down. The other kids on Ella's table snigger and whisper. Partly they are embarrassed, partly they don't think about how it makes Ella feel, and partly they are excited about someone saying something that you're not supposed to say. Ella tells her teacher, she is busy, but tells Ben to stop it and tells Ella to just ignore it. She says, just ignore it. Last week, Kobe, Ella's brother, was walking home from school when a little kid came up to him, pointed and said, look at this, and used the N-word. Last summer, Ella's family were followed around the supermarket by a security guard. Their dad had warned them to keep calm as they left the shop knowing they were going to be stopped. Every one of the people of colour making this film keep their receipts in case they are stopped at the doors of shops. Last month, Kobe was chased down the street by a bunch of older kids on bikes who wanted to beat him up. Ella's neighbours let him into their home and waited with him until the kids went away. Ella's mum made them a cake to say thank you. Ella's aunt is studying biology, chemistry and psychology A-levels. Her lecturer keeps saying things like, you don't need to notice, it won't help you. She's the only black person in her class and he never says it to anyone else. She wants to be a doctor. In the news agent, there's a headline about Britain being invaded by immigrants. On the TV, there's a film about slavery. On her dad's phone, there are people arguing about whether black lives are the same as our lives. And the whole world is angry and shouting at each other and fighting and killing and shooting each other because the world is full of hate. And her teacher said, just ignore it. So Ella says to her teacher, I can't ignore it, it's too hard. So the teacher pauses, thinks carefully, and moves Ella to a different table. And as she sits down, Ben looks at her and gives her the thumbs down. Ella pretends to ignore him. She hates Ben, she hates her table, she hates her teacher, she hates her school, and she starts to hate herself. In her coffee break, the teacher is thinking, she didn't know any black people when she was growing up. She knows from social media how nasty it can get when you get things wrong. So best just to keep Ella and Ben apart. And we have made this film and written our policy to say no. We have made this film and written our policy to say, don't be scared, don't be quiet. Do let your neighbor's son into your house until the kids on bikes have gone away. Do offer support when you see someone suffer racism. You can just ask if they are okay. When it's safe, challenge racism. You can simply say, I'm not into that. If there is a racist incident in school, make a note of it. Speak to someone you trust, even if it seems small. If you're a teacher, take action. Do something about it. Read the policy we have written for guidance. Get to know people, smile, chat. If you make a mistake, say sorry and learn. We shouldn't be afraid to get to know each other better. And the teacher put down her coffee. She went back to class a couple of minutes early. And when Ben came in, she told him that Ella is a child, just like him, who likes ice cream too. And that black is not thumbs down, and that anyone who says so is wrong. Years later, Ben can still remember it. It was the day his life started to change. The day he started to realise his dad didn't know everything. That he could learn and read and listen and make friends and experience the world in any way he wanted with anyone he wanted. He wondered, what happened to Ella? And years later, we all wonder what happened to Ella. Years later, we are all still waiting to see. And years go by, and years go by, and things don't change. 
and Ella is wanting to know where exactly all of us are and why so few of us stand up for her. Take action. Read the policy we have written for guidance.